there are so many moments that I had to go back and look at and just rewatch just to get everything out of the scene. Every day going to work and being challenged and thoroughly worn out when I would come home. And then so excited to come back the next day and do it all over again. I think for us, we really approached it in such a sacred way. We knew this was actually a mighty task to take on and it was our job to just do it justice. There's something here that's trying to get out. The fact that you could do something set in the 50s, have it be in 2020, and feel like it's this is what it is. It's right now, like today. The fact that we're able to have this as a piece of art, to hold up as a mirror for us to take a look at ourselves as a nation and to see how things got started, where we went wrong, and what how this still is affecting us to this day. It's a good time to be able to look at that. Journey and Jonathan play friends who embark on a road trip across America in the 50s to search for his missing father, and along the way face racial terrors and actual monsters. We're surrounded by monsters. I'm doing this to protect us. Journey Smollett, yeah. a force, yeah. working alongside of her. How beautiful was that? He said force, you know, we call, uh, she's lightning and I'm thunder. That's my home skillet, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he was for sure the thunder to my lightning. I mean, she's, I mean, she's, she's dynamite. You know, she is an actress that will meet you wherever you want to be that day. We were going places emotionally. You know, we were pushing our bodies physically. You can say a quick prayer, you know, and then get to work. You know, so once you, spiritually bound yourself with somebody like that, the artistic work um, is very fruitful.